You can be the Attorney General of the United States and represent all of us, or you can represent Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. You can't do both. And yeah. because Attorney General Barr wants to represent Donald Trump, I think he should resign. He's embedded deeply into the Trump team, and that affects the credibility that the Attorney General must have. You're probably best known for your role in the House Intelligence Committee, speaking out about President Trump and Russia. You've even suggested he's a Russian agent, saying he's betrayed our country. Any concern you took that too far? You no, know, he acts uh, on Russia's behalf too often and puts their priorities ahead of ours. Just because he wasn't criminally indicted doesn't mean that he met the standard of conduct that we should expect. He's an asshole. What can you do to try to fix what you see as wrong with this country? I, already done a lot, but I can do more. <laughs> I've been in Congress for six years. I've <laughs> Sorry. Defended our country from the Intelligence Committee while democracy's been on the ropes. <laughs> I took a group of young members of Congress, started a group called Future Forum. We've gone all over the country to listen to and stand up for the next generation of Americans. <laughs> and I see a country in quicksand. You've been very critical of Donald Trump, as you, as you have been tonight, but in the past you've called him a wrecking ball, you called him a Russian agent. The only person who has been caught lying about Russia is the president. He's That's clear collusion, but there's also evidence that the public has not yet seen that we think if we release our transcripts, they would also find us. Are you going to release? The Senate Intelligence Committee has not uncovered any direct evidence of a conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russia. I've seen plenty of evidence of collusion. We have very good circumstantial evidence that the Trump team, the family, the businesses were eager to work and were working with the Russians while the Russians uh, were helping them. He's been the Assistant Attorney General for the Office of Legal Counsel, the Deputy Attorney General. He's been the Chief Lawyer for the CIA. And all of these jobs, uh, he was confirmed by the Senate by voice vote. In other words, he was so well qualified, nobody felt the need to vote. And here you have remarks that are quite generous to the president, including acknowledging his feelings and his emotions. So what do you say to people on both sides of the aisle who are concerned that you are trying to protect the president? Well, actually, the, the statements about his, his, his uh, sincere beliefs are, for, are, are recognized in the report that there was substantial evidence for that. So I'm not sure what your basis is for saying that I am being generous to the president. You think it's an unprecedented situation. It just seems well, like there's a lot of effort to say, to, to go out of your way to acknowledge how this Well, is there, is there another president for it? No, but it's a Okay, so unprecedented is an accurate description, isn't it? He has no business being on this case. I won't accept anything about this investigation until we hear from Bob Mueller. Are you going to demand that you see the entire report? Yes, uh, we paid for it. Uh, we should read every word of it.